this latest Northern Bank sectoral forecast report really shows that we have weak growth going forward. Um, certainly we had weak growth of 0.9% this year in 2011 and we see growth of only 1.1%. Um, next year, 2012. There's a number of reasons for that and I think they're quite well documented in terms of the austerity measures, um, high inflation, the impact that it's had on disposable incomes and the collapse in the demand side of the economy. And then of course the euro crisis which has been um, really important recently. Northern Ireland's economic fortunes will really depend on two things. They'll depend on the um, resolving this crisis in Europe and obviously we can't do anything to influence that. It will also depend on how we grow our own economy, how we grow our private sector and certainly in terms of enterprise, foreign direct investments and very much focusing on growing our export base will be really important in, in how we have sustainable economic growth in, in the years ahead. Well, within the economy, of course, there's some sectors that are going to fare better than others, and um, we have quite optimistic forecasts really here for transport and communications is one that is doing particularly well globally. And we have some very good local companies which we think will be able to perform quite well next year. And we see growth there of about 3.4% in 2012. Um, another sector which is doing particularly well, of course, is our manufacturing sector. We very much appreciate this in the downturn. Um, local manufacturers being able to tap into export markets. Certainly there will be some limitations to manufacturing and our exports next year, and we do have, we have revised down the growth. The reason for that is simply the euro crisis. Further um, sector which we do have uh, good hopes for next year is business services. And we certainly see growth there for about 3% next year. Um, the reason for this is we have seen um, really particularly in things like legal or um, in real estate, etc., we've seen a kind of bottoming out in terms of the employment there. So we do see potential growth. And we also have to think about the fact that certainly our legal services, our accountancy services, these are high skill sectors, but they're actually priced very competitively in Northern Ireland. And we do have hopes that they might be able to maybe tap into more international markets and pull in some of those jobs um, at, a, at, a, at an international level. Business service exports are going to be very important going forward. Of course, not all sectors will be doing well. We, we know there's been a big collapse in demand locally, not just locally, actually at the national and international level. Uh, and really, when you have that collapse in demand, you have certain sectors which will struggle more than others. Retail, for example, is forecast to, to struggle in the year ahead. Um, we have had no recovery in the housing market, and really that's been kept down by low confidence. And of course, those sectors that are associated with um, housing, construction, etc., will continue to struggle next year. Um, and finally, hospitality again, when disposable incomes are squeezed, and certainly most of our tourist markets, for example, the Republic of Ireland, etc., and many Europeans also feel in that squeeze. And tourism is one of those sectors in hospitality which will have a, a difficult enough 2012. And then we have the public sector itself, um, those austerity measures that are forced on us from UK Treasury. There's no doubt about it, they will impact upon local departments, on education, on health, on public administration. Um, we won't see any expansion there certainly um, for, for many years employment will decline there will be a nat natural wastage in those departments as people leave they won't be replaced so in summary really what we're seeing here is um, a very slow protracted recovery low growth in 2012 and uh, certainly local national and the global conditions all providing um, a very challenging environment for for the local private sector and also the public sector. Um, the European crisis and getting a resolution to that will be very important. I think it's probably a great time now actually to have our uh, programme for government and our economic strategy produced because now we can focus on the things that really matter. Um, enterprise, foreign direct investment and exports are going to be so important going forward and, uh, and drive economic growth.